thank you so much for joining me today. Today is a super special video. It is my first video for the Ruby and Pearl design team and as you can probably notice from like my posts and stories and stuff um, when my design team members share their projects I get like so excited because uh, this is just like an amazing team of women and I just love our group chat and um, obviously we get to work with amazing products so yeah this is just like a super exciting day and I just really look forward to Ruby Tuesdays and seeing all of the other girls projects and um, today today I'm up okay so my project as you may have noticed by the title is going to be altered envelopes and stationery I'm just going to show you my way of doing um, some altered envelopes I'm going to show you two different styles and this is going to be a craft with me so probably a longer video and you'll get to see like my real process with very little edited out so hopefully it's not too long and boring but I've never done like a, a craft with me where I kind of show every single thing that I do I guess um without editing really so here we go okay so the first thing I want to show you is and spoiler alert Cynthia from my design team um this is a little a little um, card that I made for you that's going to go in your happy mail that I'm planning to send you but I made this little envelope for Cynthia with a note card that I wanted to write her a little note in. And actually this was before we all uh, were invited to the design team. Um, Cynthia had sent me a happy mail and I, I wanted to send her something in return. So this is what I made. And I, I believe all of this occurred even before the design team. So anyway, what I did was I wanted to make like a handmade envelope and card. So um, I have these craft envelopes and I just have this stash of envelopes. Okay, I have all these, I'm sure we all have like a bunch of envelopes that we pick up at thrift stores just to add to our paper stash or whatever. I have like all of these, I have a big box of just miscellaneous envelopes that don't have cards that belong to them. They're all vintage or this one I, um, this was like a white envelope I coffee dyed. So just, you can use literally any size, any type of envelope that you have. You can make one with your envelope punch board. Just get your envelopes out. So um, for Cynthia's, I chose this craft envelope that I had. And what I did was, I wanted to use up some of my scraps from Ruby and Pearl, so I just took some pretty scraps and put them together. This is just a very simple collage, just two little pieces. The scrap that I had of this was exactly like that, but why would I throw this away when I could just, you know, create something really cute with it? So I save, you know, these little things. And um, for this envelope, I just glued these pieces here. I embossed her name on the front and I used one of these little stamp or scalloped dies to cut out this piece that was from one of the like collage papers from Ruby and Pearl. So it's just like a small little section of maybe an ephemera piece or something from one of her, her digitals. So that's how I made this one. I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna run through my process on how I did it. I also created this little, I guess kind of a card or a little note card. I had this scrap piece of avocado dyed paper it was just really pretty and I had torn the edges um, around it and I had this cut apart piece from one of the digital collections and this was another little tiny tiny scrap just of some little French script and I thought why throw that away either when you could just collage it together and just make something really simple and really beautiful um, to give to somebody with a letter inside which I haven't written to Cynthia yet but you see so that's just kind of like a little I guess like my own, making my own stationery, if you will. Like I made my own note card and I decorated my own envelope and that'll go in her happy mail. So um, let's make one or a couple. So I like to look at the envelope size first because that'll kind of determine what card will fit in there or what um, piece of ephemera, you know, like let's just say I want to use this label. That might be a little bit too small. So maybe that would go into something like this but I'm focusing on this one right now. So let's see, let's play with our other pieces. So I am I have my big pile of scraps out, so I'm just playing with different scraps that I already have cut out or, or just, you know, laying around. I'm not printing anything extra just because I have a lot of leftovers from projects. So this looks like a good one. Um, I probably need to just cut it down a little bit more just, just so that it fits a little nicer maybe just a little more room 
or oh, you could even put it like that. Okay, and let me just say, you don't have to be super extra. Let's just say you want to send a thank you card to somebody or just, you know, a quick note in Happy Mail or maybe you are a seller and you like to send your customers thank you cards, like I mentioned, that's something I like to do. So even just something as simple as a vintage envelope or a regular envelope and a beautiful printed cut apart like this with uh, maybe a thank you on the back, simple as that, doesn't have to be all collaged and artsy and pretty, that would be just a really nice thing alone, just like that, okay? Um, but I'm going to pretend I wanna maybe write a letter to somebody and maybe write something a little bit, maybe be a little bit more elaborate with this one. So what I'm gonna do is kind of create what I did with Cynthia's, what did I do with it? Um, and just glue this piece to um, a decorative paper or a dyed, dyed paper to create some little stationery and then we'll decorate the front. So I'm gonna choose this avocado dyed paper and I, like I said, I'm gonna cut this down just a little bit just so that it isn't so snug in that envelope. Okay, and what I like about this is we're just making do with what we have, okay? Like we're not, this is scraps, um, these are envelopes that we have. So we're just using things that we, we have and making do with that. Okay, so I've cut that down to what I think looks pretty good. And so I'm going to glue it onto some avocado dyed paper. And I think I have a little bit of room on the sides here so I can kind of frame this a little bit with the avocado dyed paper. So why don't I just glue it like this? Oh, and before we do that, let's just do some simple, simple inking around the edges. It's just to give it a little bit something extra. This isn't, we're not trying to make this look old. I'm obviously using pink ink, so that doesn't look <laughs> old necessarily. So what I wanna do, I wanna be able to fold this over so, it, so when she opens it for, out from the card, um, she opens it like that. So she, whoever, whoever this goes to, um, let's see. What happens when I fold this paper? It's a little shorter when I fold it. So, hmm. Well, I don't really mind that, actually. That's fine that it doesn't match up exactly. We're okay with that. That is what we're making do with what we have. I could have cut this down a little bit more and then folded this paper evenly so it, you know, it meets here, but that's okay. I didn't do that. We don't need to, it's fine. So let's glue this. And I hope you guys like this. This is, you know, I just wanted to do a really simple project for my first one. I would love to like maybe do a, you know, like a journal next time or something like that, something of a bigger project. But I wanted to do something simple that everybody can do with just a couple minutes and with what they have. So let me know what you think of this after you watch this video and if this is something you might wanna try doing. So I'm not even gonna use my like um, paper cutter. I'm just gonna tear that off. Okay, so now we have, hmm, maybe we'll just even ink a little bit over here. Okay, now we have a cute little card, boom. So it's just like a little stationary piece. So you can write a little note right inside here. You could also write it this way if you wanted to, or you know, write like a letter in here. But because the design looks like this, I would probably um, flip it up this way and write my note here to my customer. Like I said, this is how I, I use these. Um, this, is, this is what I do when I make um, thank you cards for my customers. And I always do different types of things, but this is one of the ways. And then you could even, Decorate this a little bit more if you wanted to. Like you could cut maybe some of this out and glue it on here. You could do more collaging on here. You could do some stamping, stamping and embossing. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna keep it really simple so that you can see that you don't have to do the most just to have a really, a really nice end result. So this is just beautiful and perfectly fine as it is. 
as your as your little stationary piece. Okay, so let's just pretend you would put that in here. Perfect. So now I want to do a little something to the outside of the envelope. So what can I do? Okay, so let's use my little stamp dies because I like to I like to make it look like you know a letter with a stamp and just kind of like a cute decorative way. So let's pick something to cut out with this die. I'm going to use the smaller one, I think. Well, it depends on my what I end up choosing. How about like that? So this is just one of Heather's French receipts. So I had sized this one down. I think I was gonna use it for something else. Haven't used it yet. So I think I like this little section right here. Yeah, and I'm just gonna cut, I'm just gonna go punch this out with my die cutter, just like that. And I'm gonna use that as my stamp. Okay, so I'm back and look at how cute that little, that little stamp is. Okay, so now what else can I put on the front of this? Let's just say I'm going to make it just like I did Cynthia's. So I have my stamp and maybe a couple little bit of um, collage bits down here. And then I would leave space up here for um, a name. So, okay, so I just cut this little scrap piece that I had down. And I'm just gonna glue it right here at the bottom. I'm gonna glue this here. And maybe one other little piece of um, writing or something. How about this blue right here? So I'm, I'm not really trying to be matchy matchy, but sort of just trying to keep it all with like the blues and the pinks. And I, oh, this is also a way to um, use up my scraps. So let's just say I'm gonna use this right here. Maybe I just want to put that right here like that. So now we just use scraps that we already had just to make a really cute little envelope. I'm going to um, distress around the edge of this. around the bottom here and you can collage however you like using whatever you like you didn't right now I'm using all of her digital products you could you know add vintage ephemera scraps to this like some you know little French script pieces would be really cute somewhere but for the sake of the design team video I want to show you how just using your scraps from Ruby and Pearl would look all together So this is up to you and your interpretation or how you want to do it. But this is just an idea that if you haven't thought about using her digitals for stationery, um, this is just to like spark that idea and you can go from there. So now you have a really cute little decorative envelope and stationary piece to go inside. There you go. And then you have room right up here for, um, for a name. So you could do some like nice brush lettering and um, put a name up here. And so there you have it, another um, little stationary piece, just like this one I created for Cynthia. And again, you can decorate it how you like. You can distress around the edges more. You can get as 
as involved and detailed as you want, but to just create something super simple to send to somebody in Happy Mail or as a thank you card, I think that's really great. And then you can, you know, maybe do a wax seal right here, which is what I like to do. Um, so there's that. And if you don't have these dies, you could use those like um, scissors, those craft scissors that have decorative edges or or just cut it out, cut out a little square. I mean, just, or you could maybe like rip, rip it out. Another thing you could do with these little stationary, stationary envelopes and uh, cards, I guess you can call this, is maybe include some other little pieces of ephemera. Like you could include this little photograph inside, you know, so you could have like a little, just like a little treasure to also include inside along with your note. So, you know, you can use this or what else do I have? Even that little label that I showed in the beginning. Here's another one of the vintage ladies. So you can just keep, include a cute little picture of the ladies. But I just think all of these things just go so really nicely together. So just to get this little like package or little envelope of pretty things be so nice so there is that so that is that for the stationery okay so I just finished this this envelope and I was just going through my other scraps and I just wanted to show you some other pieces that I pulled out that I already had cut down this piece right here would be great for the cover to a card really really beautiful just, just as it's cut I, would, I don't even think i need to like trim anywhere else unless i want to make it shorter or even just like maybe as a postcard you can use this as a type of postcard you can back this onto maybe some let's see Let, let's play with that let's back this onto something so maybe you could back this onto some other this, this one might be a little bit too busy Okay, so why don't we back this one onto some scrap scrapbook paper. So you could just easily back that one onto the scrapbook paper. We can cut this down. We can ink around the edges here. That would be really cute. And you know what? Okay, I'm gonna get it kind of extra here for a minute. Let's use some photo corners. How about, how about we use the black ones? Actually, yeah, let's use some Denison photo corners. And again, I'm, I'm, this is still continuing with the idea of like stationary. So let's pretend this is like a postcard. Okay, we can glue some photo corners on the corners of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and Glue that on there. And to, and right now we're still doing this with the idea of it being a postcard or like a stationary piece. So again, this, would, this could definitely be something that you'd send like as a cute little thank you card or in Happy Mail as just like a little quick little note. But I just think that looks really cute. And I think that one fits in this envelope. So even just like that, okay? I mean, again, you can get crazier if you want to and um, decorate more, but I think this with a little thank you for your purchase on the back, super cute, super easy, little wax seal right here. Decorate the front with whatever you want. Just to give you a little 
a little idea of some more like stationary type items. To me, this is this just reminds me of like a postcard. So it'd be like a cute little postcard. And I think I have a postcard stamp somewhere. If you have one of those like acrylic stamps that is of um, of a postcard, let me see if I have mine. So I have this stamp right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a postcard. Now this one, this is small, so it wouldn't fit this one, um, but maybe like a smaller, like if you were doing this label, let's say, um, and you wanted to make this your postcard, and I say postcard with air quotes, you could put your little postcard stamp on the back, and that would be really cute. Like it would be like a pretend postcard. So just another idea. But I think that is perfect as is. Okay, so those are my little stationary options. So the next thing I'm gonna show you, you're gonna need a piece of acetate. I don't know what other alternatives you could use if you don't have acetate, but this is just what I use. And I like to find images from the digitals that sort of have like a frame. Like when I look at this, I see a frame and I see that I can get my oval die and punch out an oval in the middle of that. Or perhaps I can take my X-Acto knife and cut out a square here and turn this into a frame where you can create a window behind it. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna show you this kind of like double, double envelope or like double, I don't know, double tuck spot type thing. Ooh, okay, sorry. Just to go back to the stationery real quick this this digital right here this piece i like ones that have the design sort of spaced out and there's blank spaces in between because you could even just do your 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 thank you card or your writing within here and just stick this in an envelope like how pretty would this look with some fountain pen little note here like thank you so much for your purchase or your just a, a, a whatever small note you want to write just within these lines here and then that placed into an envelope would be really pretty. So uh, kind of just look at these designs where she has like her four part sheets where they're kind of small. These are perfect for just cutting out and fitting into an envelope. Most likely you have an envelope that it'll totally fit in. Um, so just cut it right out and do your writing just right there on the top of it and put it in an envelope for your stationery. So okay back to the frames. sorry. This is, see, this is why I don't do craft with me is because I get distracted and off topic. We need a vintage envelope because that's what I like to use. Um, and by vintage, I mean one like this maybe. Okay, so I think it's probably easier if I just begin to show you rather than explain. But what I like to do lately is to alter vintage envelopes like these. This one had a letter inside, which is cool actually. We need to keep them. But I like to alter, I just have so many of these kind of envelopes, just blank, some with letters, some without. And so I like to play around and do different things with these. And like I said, with these, I like to cut these out and use them sort of as a frame. And let me show you, okay, let me just show you what we're gonna do first. I'm gonna cut this down to sort of fit the size of this envelope. So let's see, we're probably gonna cut it down just a little bit off the sides, just a little bit, okay? I don't even need to mark it, I would just eyeball that and cut it off. And then I wanna leave a little space up at the top and a little space at the bottom. So we're gonna cut it off right about here. Okay, and then, so we're gonna do this one and we're gonna do this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and that should, mm, I might have to cut it down a little bit to fit the size of this envelope. You'll see what I mean when I cut it out, okay? Let me go cut it out real quick. And as you can see, this is one of the collage sheets. So I have used other elements um, that were on this sheet and this is just a little scrap of what I have left over. So I'm just, again, using, using my scraps and using what I have. Okay, so I've just cut my little pieces down that I wanna use into the size of my envelope. So that one fits nicely like that. This one fits nicely like that. We still have some room on the sides and that's totally okay. It's 
you know, you're not going to get it exactly perfect unless you take all sorts of measurements and then maybe size these down on your computer perfectly. Um, but again, we're not, we're not perfect here and we're not doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut, use my oval dies. Let me show you my oval die. Okay, so I'm gonna end up using this die for this one, as well as this one. I think it'll work for both, even though they're different sizes. So let me go cut that out. Okay, so now we have our frames and we need to use our acetate to create a little protective window. You don't have to use acetate, I guess you could, um, you could do without it, but I like to just um, have this sort of like protective layer underneath so that you can put something back there and just know that it's safe and protected, I guess. So we're going to cut our acetate down. Really don't need much. This is a scrap of acetate that I had from other projects. So oh, <laughs> I did some writing on the back of this um, printed paper, but yeah, so we're gonna just even cut it really messily out with our scissors. I really don't need, really don't need to be perfect with this because it's just gonna get glued onto the back. So let's see, I'll cut it right about here so I have enough space to glue it. So that looks good. Okay. And cut it right around there. say here okay and then let's cut our second piece for this one and again you can find other other her digitals that she has that sort of have a frame like I my desk is a mess now here it is you could cut uh, do the same thing with this maybe not an oval you could do a, um, a rectangle or, or you could do an oval if you have a small one why not you could do any size you want but I just kind of imagining these as a frame, like a window frame. So you just figure out what type of um, cut you want to do in the middle of this. So you could also use these, this label, for example, to do something like this. And then you also don't have to use a vintage envelope. You could just back this onto um, something like this, like say you're creating a frame like that. And this is something I used to do all the time. I don't know if you remember my um, like little photo frames I would do all the time. I haven't done them in, them in a while, but I would cut a oval out like this and then, you know, like do some little textile ruffle here and put some acetate and then that way the recipient can slip in their own photo. So that's just another idea. See, I'm getting off track. Okay. Point is you can use all sorts of things. If you see a blank space in the middle of the digital or just something that you can imagine cutting out and then you can have, um, like a, a window frame, you can make a window frame out of it. Okay, so let's cut the acetate for this one. Might need to cut this acetate down a little bit more. Yep. I'm a messy crafter. This is the way I craft. Okay, maybe you are a little more organized. That's great. Um, but <laughs> this is how I do it for real. For real, for real. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue the edges. All we care about is having that window protected. So we don't care about what this back part looks like at all. Okay, so now you have a nice window. Oops, that goes to this one. And I just like using these vintage envelopes as my backing because I like to be able to see through and see like, you know, the, the actual envelope behind that. I just think that looks cool.
Okay, one thing I kind of messed up on. I should have told you to ink around here, like the inner rim of the digital, of the frame. Um, we didn't do that, but that's okay. So maybe you can, when you try to do this, you can do that or not, if you don't um, think that's necessary or you don't like the look of that. I normally do, just to have a little bit more definition around this inner circle here. But that's okay, I forgot to do it. I'm just gonna ink around the edges like I normally do. So now we have our frames and we can glue these on to our envelope. So now we have our two little frames. So now what you essentially have is a double pocket type of thing that you can put into your journal. So you have something with a photo frame or whatever you want to put in here. It doesn't have to be a photograph, it could be anything. Um, but you have a window frame here with a vintage envelope underneath and it just kind of looks cool, you know, with like the vintage writing on the back. And then you have the envelope, you know, where it served its purpose as an actual envelope so you can stick something in here. So it's sort of a double pocket little fun thing that you can include in your journals. So what we're going to do, I like to take the like vintage ladies photographs that I have. These are ones that I already had cut down. And look at that, that actually fits in pretty nicely. Those will fit perfectly. Um, hmm, but this one, it depends on what you want to see here in the window, I guess. Uh, let's see what else I have. Hmm. So here's another lady I have cut down. So why don't we put, why don't we back her onto some pretty paper? And then she'll get placed here into the frame or we don't have to back her onto pretty paper and we can just put her in the frame. I like to back them onto something because I then, well, here, let me show you. Here's why I like to back them onto something, but you don't have to, as you just saw, it looked really pretty just inside there like that. Let me back her onto something though. Okay, so let's cut this scrap down. This is the scrap that we had earlier from our stationary set. So I'm just going to cut it down to fit, make sure it fits right inside this envelope. And I want to make sure, let's see, maybe cut it down right here. So let me go make my cuts. Okay, so now we have a card piece that's going to fit right inside there. And we have our photograph image. And you can use any photographs, but I mean, how, like, look at how cute these things already go together. This is all ruby and pearl. Why would you even bother, like, using anything else? Let's ink her a little bit. I'm just quickly inking around her. You could do some decorative sewing around her. I'm just going to glue her on but that's just another option. Again, you can always get more detailed on any of these projects. I am simply showing you the um, basics and then you can decorate to your heart's content or not because they look amazing, very simple as well. So if I glue her right in the center, she will show up right in that frame, I think, right? 
So there she goes. You have journaling space on the back. You could back this with some tea dyed paper if you don't like the white space. Um, and now what I like to do is put a little tab, something that uh, makes it easy to pull this out of the frame. So you can use, I have um, tab dies. I have these like little tab dies. So I just realized that I, I need to cut this down a little bit more. So what I did was I sized this for the envelope and I need to size it for within the frame. So bear with me. We're going to cut this down so that she fits inside of the frame. Okay, so let's check and see if she fits. She does. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and re-ink my edges because I cut this down. See, there are mistakes made, but we can fix them. And you still can see that she's backed onto a really pretty flowery paper. So we'll just ink around her. Okay. So now we know she fits inside and we just need a little something to pull her out. So let's do, I'm gonna just do one of my tab dies to pull her out. And maybe we'll do, like this one. And what are we gonna use for our paper? Well, we're gonna use some more digital scraps. Duh. How about this blue one? And we'll just cut out this die. Okay. So now I have my little tab and we're just gonna glue our little tab right here, just at the very edge. Just at the very edge like that. Maybe we'll do this side. Maybe down here. So it's not like covering her face. just right at the edge. And you can, of course, do some sewing. You could have used a textile like I originally planned to, but I just felt like this might've been a little bit too thick. Um, you can use anything you want for your little tab. The point is, I just wanted to have something that might help me pull, pull her out of the frame a little bit easier if and when I wanna do so. So she goes in like that. We have our little tab right here. Um, you could even push it in. There you go. Push it in a little more. And there you have it. Lady in a frame. You can pull her out like that. Little journaling card. Put her back in. And then you have this other tuck spot right here that you can include other items in, like maybe this frame you want to include as a little journaling card. So this could be like a little journaling card holder for your journal recipient. Um, let's cut this down. So then you have this little frame as a journaling card, something fun that your recipient can pull out from their little envelope. Maybe you want to cut apart some of the wallpapers and cut them into a small size that'll fit in there. And that could be some little note cards or journaling cards for your recipient. And you can decorate the outer edge of this as well a little bit more if you wanted to. So there you have it with this little altered envelope that you've now created a double tuck spot for, for a photograph and some vintage ephemera, AKA digital vintage ephemera. <laughs> You could even put some more um, of the vintage ladies photos in here, like a little collection of photographs in an envelope. Um, I was totally going to do this one too, but what? <laughs> it's just the same thing. I don't, this is my brain right now, okay? 
like <laughs> just like doing this I just made two of these for no reason but um, you get the point so this is just a larger envelope of this of the same thing and this one this one was part of the a collaged paper it had different elements on it so you can see that this is part of something else here and I just left it on there and it looks great you can embellish these further maybe you want to put like some little rose embellishments around here like if you have die cuts like the maybe like the Tim Holtz botanical die cuts I think that would look really cute if you um like arrange them on the side or maybe added some sari um some thinner like sari to the edges somehow you know you can figure out how to kind of alter these even further maybe some lace um glued around the sides just to give more texture but um, I just think this is just a really cute little thing to include in a journal. I love in little interactive elements. So I hope you, I hope you liked my project. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you liked this chatty craft with me or if you'd rather I maybe like refine it a little bit better next time. But this is just, you know, this is how I craft. And I also don't always talk when I'm crafting and teach while I'm crafting so this is kind of a new thing so hopefully this made sense to you and you enjoyed it oh and we can't forget the letter that came out of this envelope this one I had pulled it out of my stash and it just so happened to have um, a letter so you know of course that would be cool to keep that in and it says dear daddy you know etc so maybe that would even be super cute um, if you're trying to create sort of a story with your envelope so it'd say like this is a letter to her dad and maybe she wanted to include a photograph of herself in her letter so you could do her picture inside oh my gosh isn't that so cute like dear daddy and then like here's a picture of me that is really sweet Dear Daddy, we would be delighted to have supper with you next Thursday. Thank you for the letter. I hope you are well. Love, Peggy. And like, what if that's Peggy? How cute! That is super cute. That just kind of came together all on its own nicely. Um, and then we have the stationery piece that we created with a little note card. So you can write your thank you note and include a cute little... Um, ephemera piece as well so that is my altered altered envelopes tutorial for you guys so thank you so much for joining me for ruby tuesday and i'll see you guys next time bye